Alright. Alright. Hey, what's going on out there, YouTube? Go Pen Nation. Go Pen America. And a couple other sites, especially SoCal. Go Peds. Um, I'm making this video because I had some questions asked about what I did to my engine and how I got it so fast and how to get it on a scooter and all that type of stuff. So, I'm going to start from the beginning. Where I got my motor and my setup were some SD scooters. It cost me around like 305 bucks for the engine stock and the gas tank and the, uh, the standoffs. These aren't the original standoffs. These are mine. Kind of did my own custom thing to it. Because I want, ah, long story, but I wanted to do a whole lot to it with the engine and the setup. So I wanted it to look real sleek and cool. So I, I didn't want to widen it out any more than it had to be. So, yeah, back to what I was talking about. So back to the engine. So I started out with my first purchase was the engine. And the first upgrade I did was the break in. I broke it in with AMS oil, Dominator oil. And, uh, yeah, this shit right here, dude, was a business. I did the heat cycle thing, you know, 15 minutes running, idle, give it a little gas here and there, and then 15, 15 minute cycle. I tell you what I say like this, I did a whole gallon of gas before I really freaking ran it. I mean, I wouldn't ride it until I did four tanks of that cycle, and I did like a, a half-ass, like, you know, I babied it. I mean, I went around the Devon supermarket in the parking lot for hours until I ran a whole tank. And then I would let it cool. I mean, I didn't rev it high. I kept it in first gear, just revving it slow, letting it get midway, and then jump right into second. Um, but yeah, anyway, so I use the AMS oil, the best shit I ever used. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm talking about. When I say like cylinder head, and this is a new cylinder, this is ESP head. Um, the one I originally had my boy used. So check that out, guys. When I say clean, I mean, shh, fuck. The cylinder is fucking still immaculately new. You see that? I can't get, I can't really get the light in there without blocking the camera. But I wish I could do it better. Um, but anyway, if you guys can see that, I mean, look how, how beautiful that is, dude, for a cylinder. I mean, you, there's no scaping, there's no burn marks, there's no scarring. You know what I mean? There's nothing. It's just a pretty, pretty ass freaking cylinder. And I mean, gorgeous, dude. See all that Amsoil red on there? That just says a lot, dude. I mean, look at it. Buttery. Buttery. So anyway, that's what I was talking about. That's so awesome about that damn thing. Sorry if the camera was upside down. I had to do it some weird ways. So anyway, so this is the beat up part of it. So that was the first upgrade. It was a break in the oil. Then um, the second move I did is I got the rhino pipe. Um, the reason I got the rhino pipe is because it's easy to mount up. The majority of the mounts mount to the... To the um, the engine, so it's easy to mount it up to the to the, to the Evo scooter. You know, you only had to mod up one mounting point, which is great. Versus trying to do three or four different size ones. You know what I mean? So that's how I did that. And when it came down to it, I, I love the pipe, but the reason I have it wrapped is because you get burned. <laughs> that pipe goes right to your leg. I don't care what you wear, jeans, what. That shit is fire. Jet Pro pipes are thin, man. That that metal is hot as hell. And I mean, it burned through my legs. You should see them, man. So seriously, I suggest wrapping it. Do anything to keep yourself from getting burned by that. Because it's going to be a weird feeling to be right next to you. So anyway, the next step was I ended up getting the ESP ported head. Um, awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome head for what it's worth. I mean, there's a lot of people out there that can do more aggressive. But it is what it is. And I also did it with a copper gasket. And I used the right stuff when I rebuilt this whole thing because I rebuilt it from the crank, new crankcase and everything from the bottom up. So, I mean, bearings and all. The reason I picked SD scooters again is because they get a better batch of engines than what uh, DDM would get. DDM gets a lower level of uh, stock number because they buy it so frequently and so much versus an off-brander who will actually, or off-vendor like SD scooters, which will probably just go straight to the manufacturer and get what they newest one that's on the shelf. I mean, you can have the new crankcase, but not the new head that Chung Yang made. Instead, I got the whole thing, crankcase and the head that Chung Yang made. So that's why it came out to be so buttery. I, I, you guys ever heard it ran, run? It's a crisp running 460, dude. It's got a lot of heart. I broke it in perfectly. Now, with the ESP head and the copper gasket, that's what I did. That's how I got to go. Also, one other thing. 
the last upgrades, I did use a uranium, uranium plug, but the last upgrade I have to tell you guys is I did go with um, a 48 and 11 pocket bike. And the reason I tell you that is because at first it was just I was chewing up fucking sprockets with this engine. I mean, I was eating them up. The chain was getting loose. You got to be careful about that. The chain got stretched because this engine really, 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 really puts in a lot of power. It's not playing around when it snaps the bell. I mean, like, dude, it's, it's really... It's going hard. I know that the scooter looks all beat up. It's a bad example. I mean, I did crash, guys. <laughs> I did crash, and she's still on four, all two tires, dude. So I'm pretty proud of my Evo. It's a tank. <laughs> but anyway, so I had to get a new chain. I went to a, I got a pocket bike because that's the only thing that fits on these fucking stupid ass rims. So I got a pocket bike um, sprocket, and I went 48 tooth on the uh, the 11 drive, and I was hitting. I was I bullshit you not, guys. I'm hitting 50 miles an hour. So, if you're trying to do a budget build and you want to go through some vendors, you know, there's some other things that we've done, like that, that head right there, on there, you know, that's an HB head, it's doing business, but I was just telling you guys, I went with the ESP, um, because you guys are going to buy this, I don't know if you guys have anybody that you do pouring for you or anything like that, but that's what, uh, that's another different story. So, again, I'm keeping this camera on this damn sprocket, because there's more to tell you. You got to watch the diameters on it. Um, again, if you go lower gearing, it, it, I think I can go as low as probably like 38 tooth in the rear and still be on 11 and the transmission will still drive like hell. I'd still be, be a badass, bat out of hell in first gear. So, I mean, I, I think that's just the top end thing. So, with that said, yeah, that's what I did, guys. I kept it real stock like, but that 460 is where I put the power, where I put the money at. So, oh, and I know you guys saw it before. The add big brakes. I had to have them. Those those shits make everything stop. Lovely. So anyway, that's my YouTube video on that engine. I hope you guys like the mods, and I hope you guys um, do what you can. Like I said, Amazoil Dominator. What I do is the best shit you ever could run. Trust me. All right now. Later, y'all. Hit me up whatever you need. Darnell out. YouTube love.